Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today I want to talk about the Record Box 5.4.4 beta. Uh, so this is an interesting release from Pioneer. Uh, basically, they've in, in <laughs> God damn it. Basically, the concept is is that uh, when you analyze music on your library, it takes a footprint of this data and shoots it up to the Pioneer's DJ servers. And so a next person on a computer who goes to analyze the exact same song, rather than having their computer go through the whole process, it looks to see if it's the same song and then shoots down just that data to their computer as well. So the whole goal is to cut down on processing and save time for people with large libraries and to kind of make this whole community process for analyzing data between the computers. So when I first heard about this, I was like, hey, this is cool. And I thought about it for a minute, and I was like, uh, I don't know. Okay, there's a lot of questions to be had here. Like, is this an instance like Facebook where, you know, they're going to take your banking information and whatever else is on your computer, your special stuff folder where you got system files in there? Anyways, uh, yeah, like, you know, like, is it just waveforms? Is it just taking the waveforms, no metadata? Is it just taking the things out of your folder? Is it taking other information from Pioneer? Like, what are you offering to Pioneer for this new service? And the other thing that's interesting about it is that this is a service, so you have to pay for it. Uh, it isn't going to be a free thing so that everybody can have it. So I guess you have to opt into it. Now, the key question is, once you pay for the service, can you turn this thing off? And the answer is no, at least so far. Uh, Pioneer has been kind of light on information because this has just been leaked. So we don't really know exactly what's happening here. But so far, they haven't. I, I should say this. Pioneer hasn't come out and said, oh, no, no, don't worry, guys. We're not going to do this or this and that or whatever. The beta has just come out. So select people have it on their computers right now. And I don't think it's really functioning the way they want it to quite yet. So uh, it's not for a wider release yet. So, you know, there's certain issues, privacy concerns people have. Um, and, and, and to be fair, like, it's, it's a good question. Pioneer is a major company, and they could probably make some money selling people's data. And I'm not going to say they would do that, but who knows? I don't know. I don't know how much information you can glean from somebody's library anyway. Just like, oh, you, you like reggaeton? Like, like, that's not pretty useful. So as far as I know, just based on basic information that's out so far, it seems to only analyze the song and not so much your metadata or your cue files, your cue points, your loops, all that kind of stuff. So as far as I know right now, it's just a waveform, um, which is good, I guess. And I think it's pretty much similar to the type of technology that YouTube uses to filter out songs. But in this case, they're using it for a different purpose. So, uh, I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting. I, I want to know from you guys, like, is this a feature that you would use? Because, you know, I have a reasonably sized library. And I haven't, I, I don't use Rekordbox as my main DJ software. So... Uh, I've only analyzed certain types of music and I haven't done my whole library yet. But if this thing did what it's supposed to do accurately without other <laughs> uh, other things in the background, I would be open to uh, letting them analyze the thing. Now, all I want them to do is analyze the beat grid and that's it. Whatever metadata or the song titles, all that crap, let me do whatever I have. So as long as it's just doing that, I'm okay with. But, you know, again, like uh, we, we need more information about what this is and what they're doing. Uh, hopefully Pioneer comes out with some kind of information soon. And uh, maybe people keep, kick up enough of a fuss that they're like, okay, okay uh, whatever evil features we have, we're going to turn those off and just keep it strictly for DJs, whatever. So we'll see. Uh, the other thing that I find interesting is that they're planning to make this a service. So it seems to be that they're going to have other features that are going to come down the pipeline uh, that you can only get 
when you pay for this service. And that's the interesting concept because a lot of these new, a lot of DJ software right now is trying to do this uh, pay service where you pay monthly or whatever for the thing just to kind of generate a little bit more money because I think a lot of these companies, they're in the red or they're just barely scraping by just because uh, the people who would pay for Nexus 2000, the Denon 5000s, like, you know, there's not a lot of people that can afford three grand for a CDJ and they keep buying the new software and the new DJ, whatever. Most DJs, they get one the piece of gear that works for them and they don't buy new gear until it breaks. And that seems to be the prevailing things here. It's not a, not a business model where like an iPhone, where you're going to keep getting new things. So I think a lot of these companies are trying to come up with new ways to generate income. And a virtual DJ has a subscription service. Uh, Serato is trying to do a su subscription service as well. I don't know if Tractor is trying to do one. And now Rekordbox is trying to do one. So, I mean, a lot of these companies are looking for new models to make money. So I wouldn't be surprised. Um, it could be a way for them to come out with new gear and do other stuff. So, you know, who knows if people are willing to opt in. Most people that I've talked to, or most DJs that I've talked to, they're kind of like, once I pay for it, that's it. I don't want to think about this again. I don't want to pay twice. Uh, so, you know, we'll see. People get mad about doing updates. So, you know, just paying $9 a month to Serato or Pioneer for whatever services. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's going to be a hit with people. But, you know, this could be the, the thing that, that kind of gets people looking into it more, at least for record box. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. Is this something you'd be interested in? Or you're like, F off, Pioneer. Uh, stay off my hard drive. So uh, let me know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, peace out. Bye.